Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and I am will be your Batman today. I've already been Catwoman. Sorry to disappoint you boys. But now it's time to be Batman. That's right, I'm secure in my masculinity. We're gonna make the worst choices possible and be the worst Batman possible. Uh, what is this? Telltale? Get the full experience? Use a Telltale account to get new features? Uh, I have a feeling there's not gonna be any new features from Telltale. Alright Batman, we're in this together. Ow. Jesus, I didn't think there'd be violence in this game. Oh, here comes Batman. <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> Come on, dude. You must have heard of me. <laughs> I didn't even kick him. I just landed near him. Okay. The game's just given up on me entirely now. It's just doing everything. I'm not reacting at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, they gave me a little chance there. Oh, yes, I got hit! Awesome! I love video games. Although I might be holding the controller wrong. The little sad face he got. Oh, he got shot. Am I dead? You did it. You killed Batman. Game over. <laughs> He's just like, what? Huh? <laughs> I can't. After all that? He took out all my friends? This is the infamous vigilante? I just... I just shot him. I don't know why it's circling like it's this big epic fight. He's random thug number 14. And he's winning. <laughs> just not reacting again. I had already disarmed him. And then it's just like, no, he got hit too much. Just kill him again. After all that, them trying to open the door and I open it for them. And she's already in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm already in. She's getting away. I think I've failed. Oh, now you're going to arrest me? Really, dude? <laughs> just not going up. The law told me not to move. They said stay where I am. <laughs> okay, just created an awkward moment and he went anyway. Bring it, Bat. No. <laughs> she's like, okay. <laughs> Is she going to turn around? Or are we just going to have a staring contest? Is that what we're doing here? Because I think you blinked a second ago. This is getting very awkward. And the longer this clip goes on, the more awkward it's getting. I'm going to hit A now. Wait, wait! Do not shoot! <laughs> just open fire? <laughs> what, is wearing spandex a crime in this city? It probably should be, honestly. The situation had de-escalated. They had stopped writing. It was over. And then he's like, here's my chance to be a hero. I better shoot him in the hip. <laughs> oh my god, I just killed her. <laughs> he's like... Oh no, I'm not supposed to kill. That's my whole thing. No one's gonna see my movies if I start killing people. Bye. <laughs> Is she dead? Oh, that's game over again. He looks sad. He did nothing. No, wait. I've never met anyone who dresses up in spandex and roams around the city at night before. Maybe we could get a coffee. Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Oh my god, you'd rather kill yourself than hang out with me? Oh no, she escaped. Okay, bye. I guess she was busy. She had other plans. Why is the music so loud? I can't hear anyone. What? I'm just not gonna say anything. I don't know what you said. <laughs> I don't want to say what again. Like, Batman, have some respect. Alfred's right there. He's his butler. He's in charge of cleaning. <laughs> and then Bruce Wayne's just there like, blood. <laughs> You're gonna have to clean this, Alfred. <laughs> Getting his blood all over the mantle. Time to save the city. Time to save the city. What? What, what is going on here? Elect Harvey Dent. Oh, Batman, he's a bad guy. Come on. Have you not seen any of the movies or comics or TV shows or anything? World's greatest detective, huh? Well, it seems I'm a bit better. I did my research. Oh my god, look at him. You can even tell by looking at him that his real name is Chad and he's a villain. <laughs> like, you don't even need the, the burnt-off face to know. Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh- <laughs> It's like, oh god, he's here. Oh no. Oh no, I feel bad. He, he's gonna beat me up. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Wow, everyone loved that. So far, my Batman has no wit. He's socially anxious. He has no depth perception. And his reactions are incredibly slow. The sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Oh, thank God. Don't say anything, Bruce. Just try and get out of this party. Maybe a bit of social lubricant will help my anxiety. Finish the drink. <laughs> Look at him. He looks so sad and just nervous. Now all I need is a decent slogan. Our hope is in Harvey. Put a dent in crap. No, I'm not giving you any uh, slogan. I'm going to be silent. Elect Harvey Dent. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> you believe in Dent, we believe in you. They're all just praising Bruce and Harvey's standing there like... Elect Harvey Dent. <laughs> He's not even talking. That cape 
bat freak. Oh, look how sad he was when he said bat freak. His face did sink a little bit. Luckily, the guy I'm talking to, his face sank long ago. They're just here trash talking me and I'm just remaining silent. <laughs> it looks like he doesn't know what to do with his hands. They're just kind of down by his side and he's kind of looking around. <laughs> he looks so sad. To be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. <laughs> Can you stop talking about my parents dying? <laughs> He looks depressed already. Just remain silent. Don't don't encourage this. Oh, he's like a puppy. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? There's no feckin' point. I'm just gonna remain silent the entire time. He gets so sad every time I tell him to go silent. <laughs> the camera even keeps looking at me to say something and I'm just silent. I might try that strategy in my videos from now on. Is that blood? Carmine Falcone? How did he even get in here? Oh my god, he looks so depressed. All right, now I'm going to start talking. I'm going to start screaming and throwing a tantrum. I don't want him in my home. There you go. Good enough first step. Not quite the scream I was hoping for. Play nice. What? What is this? This is my house. This is my fundraiser. I'm going to stop supporting this guy. Shake his hand. Yeah, go on. He's a criminal and everyone's watching. <laughs> Good to meet you. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's private audience. <laughs> he's so pissed. He's trying so hard and he's getting excluded from everything. I I'll go alone just to piss off Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink. Or Who's the loser at the party now? Still me. Look how sad I look. Chalk this for me. What? <laughs> Be a pal. Yeah, sure. This is like, oh man, I'm so nervous. There's criminals in my home. It's the most pathetic version of Batman. <laughs> And he's still getting angry, even though I've cooperated. I chalked your pool cue. And with the break. Get nervous and don't talk. Be intimidated by him. He'll remember that. I don't think it was that memorable. <laughs> he just kind of looked at him and that was it. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Oh my god, I came across so pathetic <laughs> that entire time. <laughs> he definitely won that verbal fight. He wouldn't want a physical fight too. I would have just sat there like this. It's me. Oh, at least he has like authority over the AI in his house. That's what you need to boost your confidence. Alexa, who is the strongest human alive? Here's something I found on reference.com. Kevin O'Reilly is currently the strongest human alive and also the most handsome and humble. Oh, Alexa, you shouldn't have. Say it again. Oh, now I have to figure things out. I got to figure out where Catwoman is. Oh, God, I'm a bit of a boomer, to be honest with you. Oh, it's a floppy disk. <laughs> now we're screwed. I'm going to have to go on Amazon, buy a converter or something. And even then, it's going to be hard to get to run. That seems super unnecessary. Like you're building a whole little basement area for your chair to be stored and then it comes out like mine just wheels around it's a lot easier the dusting is murder now to mention the blood you've been leaving all over the place which seems like it's on purpose all right i've given up on the chase i didn't find anything out about catwoman so i've gone to cobblepot park to just go for a walk running late i'll meet you by the statue okay i get this is your park but why do we have to meet here <laughs> this place is kind of scary watch wallet cash see what i mean huh <laughs> I just stayed silent, gave him a weird posture up. Gentlemen! Oz. Oh, thank God, the penguin's here to save me. Come here! Wait, is the penguin a good guy in this? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Still not reacting. <laughs> Just let him fall. Okay, I know they're trying to set him up as a badass, but these people are really stupid and have no depth perception. I'm gonna complain. Say so you went too far. I think uh, my masculinity is just trend. This park still matters to me, Bruce. I just told him his park is better off bulldozed. bulldozed. He just saved my life. And I'm like, hey, your park is pretty shit. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. Okay, he's having a pity party for himself for losing all his money. I'm gonna bring up my parents. My parents are gone too, Oz. All right, it's not a competition here. <laughs> We're having a pity party and each of us want to be the guest of honor. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Oh yeah, he's my new buddy. I chalk his pool cue and I know that sounds like a euphemism for something, but, but it's not. I just, let's talk about something else. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I am really, really pissing him off. And it feels like we could have been friends here. All right, where am I now? I'm doing a press conference. Pull up on my Ferrari. <laughs> I think Harvey's getting a bit pissed off because I'm literally saying nothing. I have no charisma. I'm always sad. And yet all the attention is on me. Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Um... No. It 
It's so incredibly awkward. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. I won't answer, but go ahead and ask. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? God, that's a hard question, and it doesn't deserve an answer. Next question, please. I, I withdraw my question. There we go. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Oh, that's true. You leaked it? Are you serious? All right, that's it. I'm going to start tanking our campaign. He came to learn about Harvey Dent. There we go. <laughs> Please keep your questions on topic, people. And now he's getting pissed. He's like, let's not talk about criminals. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. I feel like I would have heard this rather than from a random reporter. I'm going to start freaking out. I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being... What, criminals? Could the allegations be true? Oh my god, oh my god. The... Yes, I chalked the man's pool cue, all right? Is that so wrong? The police are inside the manor. Oh, Jesus, I'm being raided. <laughs> Oh my god, are they breaking my stuff? What did you break? Dude, at least apologize. It's gonna be a picture of my family, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> it's my family. <laughs> he didn't even apologize. He just walked off. Like, there's no way he didn't notice he knocked it. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. Wait, is she the reporter? Why are you here? How did you get in? <laughs> she seems useful. I'm gonna tell her to stay out of this. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. And I did. I know the damage you can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. Yeah, give a quote. Whenever you're ready. Nothing. <laughs> my, my quote that you can put in the media is dot, dot, dot. This is so awkward every time. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. It's because I didn't let him into the room, isn't it? He's just threatened by me. Like, he's getting none of the attention, even though he kind of deserves it. I bet that story she's writing is going to be front page material. Bruce Wayne, and then in quotes, dot dot dot. He'll totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. I don't know what's going on with this story. It's very unique. I'm not even convinced he's going to turn into Two-Face yet. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just- Wait a second, who is this? Is that cat lady? Oh, she recognizes me as Batman. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? <laughs> I just think it's super direct. When I finally start speaking up, it's all the wrong words. Okay, Harvey's walked off. Now we can talk honestly. Who do you get to clean your, like, skin-tight suit? Because mine is just filthy, and Alfred won't do it anymore. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're on your own. I'm just abandoning her. I'm not helping her. <laughs> the one person I probably should help, and I'm like, no, don't piss me off. Yeah, just start freaking. I was hoping you'd come out and play. What is that weird facial expression? <laughs> Write it down. Now. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? 15 minutes ago. Wait, 15 minutes ago? Then what are you doing here? You didn't know I was Batman. You were just gonna go for a coffee? <laughs> Instead of meeting up with this criminal, explain that you lost the thing they wanted you to steal. All right, well, I'll go deal with them, I guess. <laughs> He's struggling. He's not as strong as he used to be. Oh, dear. What has happened here? God, I don't know what this tool does. Maybe you should take care of it. You know what? No, I'll just stick it in there. There you go. Ah, oh, that's nasty. All right. You're very waxy here, sir. Hold on. I'll get this all sorted out. I've already called the cops to show up. If I'm there with a rod jammed in a dead policeman's head, they're going to think it was me. A cop shredded this murk to pieces. Barehanded. I should tell Gordon. He should get employee of the month or something. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Oh, it was Falcone. Oh, my good friend. You can't make me talk. That's what I was thinking at the press conference. <sighs> Barrels, intimidate, ribs, face. Here, smash his face. Oh, <laughs> never go right for the head. They get all discombobulated. I told you everything I know. Okay, thanks. Then we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> so unnecessary. Talk to Gordon, disappear, explain everything. If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't think it works like that. I got a task force on it. You already have one. And off he goes. When I was trying to talk, she was insisting she was going to shoot me. And when I go to escape, she does nothing. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. I know, I'm so close, but I might get him next time. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. But as a friend, 
The burden of advice falls on me. Alfred is trying to play every role in this. He's the butler, he's my best friend, and he's my guardian. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Accept the tickets, tear them up. Tear them up? He's just lamenting over this loss in every scene, and I'm getting sick of it, so I just move on. Oh, Alfred did not like that. <laughs> Wait, what? what is this? This just looks like bad art. <laughs> Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Oh no, this is the mayor's thing. He's trying to take down Falcone. I I'll just take a wild guess. They're working together. <laughs> I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. I feel like Gordon's definitely the one to go to. Like, he seems really nice and competent in this game. So I'm going to give it to Vicky Vale, the journalist. I just want to be on the front page again. I, I feel like I missed the opportunity last time. I should have said something. Something inspiring. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Wait, why not? Why have you not tried to take down this mob boss? <laughs> it seems like something you should have been doing... All along, actually. Never mind, go for a joyride. Oh no, we're going to meet the journalist. Okay, um, I would like a better quote this time. Maybe something like, The problem with being as fast as the speed of light is I'm always in the darkness. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. Yeah, it, she's probably going to end up dead over this, or at least as a hostage. <laughs> it was really irresponsible. It's part of your job. Not like I can protect you or anything. Just come on, just do it. All right, time to go confront Falcone directly while dangerously drunk driving around a public road. <laughs> Did you see the state of his driving? He was in both lanes going around a corner. Wait, was that me? Okay, I thought it was just like a kite caught in an updraft. I don't think I was really in control there. Okay, I gotta plan out my attack here. What am I gonna do? I'll use this large folding screen to take him out. There we go. If I hit him through that, he's as good as dead. I swear that woman's looking right at my drone here. <laughs> that part of the plan looks like he's just gonna come out and go boo! <laughs> and hopefully scare him away. All right, I'm going in. I'm ready. I don't even know if there's more people to attack or not, but I'm ready. My Batman does not care at all about killing. Like, I'm pretty sure at least half of these people are gonna die. Yeah, like, he's dead. That is 100% dead. Good lord. That was so aggressive. They're just running at me unarmed. Fantastic plan. Oh god, you can tell he's evil just because of the way he goes, when he walks around. Even Falcone agreed with me. He shot him. What was that reaction? I'm gonna put you in the fire. There you go. Oh my god. You didn't think to lead with this machine gun? Oh, finishing blow. Yeah, I used that. I thought it said, use your fishing bowl. And again, I was like, you didn't think to lead with it? Rockets are good too, though. Rockets also work. Answers now or you fall. Here we go. Remember, my Batman killed, so <laughs> you should take me pretty seriously. I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? You know, he's right. It does seem a bit weird that he would leave a calling card. <laughs> it's not like chemical weapons. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, with that... Gotham's watching now. Oh, God damn it! They are watching me. Will I just kill him anyway? Oh, my eyes are going red. I think I'm going to kill. Arrest. Brutalize. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Commit. Commit. <laughs> oh, dear. Gotham will hear of this. I think they saw it live on television from that helicopter. <laughs> the way. What? But that's me. The cops are in the apartment, by the way. They're downstairs. I don't know why they're not stopping us. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Wait, so my family were criminals? Oh my God. Yeah, you should have shot me earlier. <laughs> They're not giving me a second chance. I'm not doing my image any favors. Like, in Bruce's life or Batman's life, in Bruce's life, I'm just staying silent and being sad and sucking up the criminals. And in Batman's life, I'm being absolutely murderous. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. Really? That's what everyone's talking about. One of the biggest mob bosses in the city was just 
brutalized and arrested live on television and everyone's talking about my family the monster batman only time will tell <laughs> look at his little face he's so upset he's like why have i suddenly made every wrong decision in my life if falcone's telling the truth about my parents then what the hell did we do this for bruce i what have you been hiding from me Alfred! Okay, it's not Alfred's fault. It's me that's controlling it, to be fair. You stick up for Harvey. No. <laughs> you win 85% of players chose to control the emerging Wayne story and provided Vicky with a quote, but it was just dot, dot, dot. Only a quarter of people gave the information to Vicky instead of Gordon. And only 18% of people brutalized Falcone. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good. But it's exactly what I set out to do. Let me know if you want to see more of this, folks. I'd be down to keep playing. If you just want to leave it at that, that's fine too. I feel like that was a good little arc we did but thank you so much for watching i appreciate it leave a like or a comment if you do want to see more and i'll, I'll make a decision but thank you so much for watching appreciate it and hope to see you tomorrow bye for now